what is up YouTube? Look at the furniture behind me. <laughs> it's in. We are so excited. Um, our little guy is going to be here in less than 14 weeks as I am 26 weeks pregnant. I can't believe it. Time is flying. I just got back from the gym and I'm editing this YouTube for you guys for today. It is a shoulder hit workout. It's going to be emphasized on the shoulders, but you're also going to target your glutes with it. Um, I walked out of the gym doing this workout and I felt fantastic. Like, you know those workouts that you have and you're just like, that was amazing. I feel so great. This was one of those workouts. It's quick and efficient. Like you, it shouldn't take you longer than 35, 40 minutes. Um, if you push yourself and are efficient with your rest, it was, I was sweating and my shoulders were numb. Um, but it was a phenomenal workout. My heart rate was spiked for the most part. Um, take that within reason being pregnant. I'm still listening to my body. My doctor has approved me to um, allow my heart rate to go a little bit higher. That is only because my heart rate goes back to normal very, very quickly. Always get approval from your doctor for any kind of high intensity interval training. Um, listen to your bodies. If you are not pregnant, I want you going ham. And the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Go ahead and give a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys at the gym. All right, you guys, to start off this workout, we are going to do squat to lateral press on the landmine. If you do not have a landmine, you can take a barbell and put it into the corner and it turns into a landmine. We are going to start off with 20 reps. Make sure when you're squatting, your knees align with your second and third toe. And as you snatch to the overhead grip, make sure your lower back is not arching and you are bracing your core by activating your transverse as the bar is coming up and over your head. Again, make sure everything is stabilized. We don't want our body doing waves. We don't want any pressure on our lower backs. I also put my hand on my stomach just to make sure my linea alba is not protruding out and I'm making sure I have proper transverse control. I'm inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up as I'm pressing the bar over my head. Again, knee alignment is so, so important so we don't put added stress on our MCL. To think about this, you can Think about your knee aligning with your second and third toe. My toes are slightly turned out because they're doing more of a sumo squat because my belly is getting in the way. Then we're immediately going to go into a squat to overhead press. I'm inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up, and wrapping my transverse to activate that core. My lower back is not arching when I'm pressing the weight over my head. If you find yourself starting to arch your lower back, lower the weight. If you want to use a resistance band on this only, that is perfectly okay for anyone that wants to lower the intensity or has um, shoulder issues. That is a modification you can do. If you want to up the intensity, you can add more weight. You're going to repeat that superset with all of the reps given. So 15, 12, 8, 10, 5, and 16 until both exercises are complete. Then we're going to go into our second major superset, a hip thrust to overhead press. If you want to add more glute work, add a resistance band around your hips. Again, we are starting off with 20 reps. Make sure when you press the bar overhead, you are activating your transverse. You can see my belly going from a baby bump to kind of not so much of a baby bump. It's my transverse corseting in. I'm inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. You're also going to feel this in your lats and your triceps a little bit. Those will be your secondary muscles and your pectoralis um, muscles as well. Then we're immediately going to go into a resistance band upright row. You do not need to use the resistance band or you can use the resistance band by itself for less intensity. We're going to perform 20 reps. So again, each Exercise is performed for 20 reps, then you repeat for 15 reps, 12 reps, 10, 8, 5, and 16. We do not want any rest between the exercises. We want to keep moving and we want to keep those muscles working. If you're pregnant, listen to your body. Take the rest that you need. If you aren't pregnant, push yourself, challenge yourself, and have as many minimal rest as possible. Make sure when you're doing the upright row, your elbows are slightly going out parallel as we're pulling up. Now we're on to our third part. This series sucks. It burns so bad, but it's so great. You're gonna do five reps laterally, uh, isolating holding the other weight in the opposite direction. So five reps horizontally, then you're gonna switch and do five reps to the side while you're holding a front delt raise. You're gonna repeat each arm three times 
And just about when your arms are feeling like they're going to fall off, you're going to keep your arms and rotate and do the next side. So five reps laterally, five reps frontal. Again, every time I'm lifting the weight up, I'm concentrically activating my transverse abdominis with my breathing, exhaling on the way up to activate my core. You're going to repeat each side three times, five reps forward, five reps to the side, and push through it. If you need to lower the weight, lower the weights. I'm using seven and a half pounds here, and honestly, the last set I needed to do five pounds just because my shoulders were shot. Immediately, without any breaks, we are going to do... Um, this is where my husband was making fun of me, but we are going to do an overhead press for one rep and then you're going to do behind the head for one rep, two reps in the front, two reps in the back, all the way up into five reps. Every time I'm pressing the weight over my head, I'm exhaling and pulling my transverse in and activating that core. So I'm preventing diastasis recti while also supporting my lower back. If you find that you need to lower the weight, you can lower the weight, or you can totally use a resistance band for this to lower the intensity. If you wanna increase the intensity, add the resistance band with the weight. Honestly, I died with just the weights, but I know some of you guys are bosses out there and could probably do it with the resistance band as well. You're gonna repeat this superset three times and watch your arms fall off. It's fantastic. <laughs> so finishing this workout, we are going to work the rear delts as we've worked a lot of the front and mid delt. Make sure that you do not pull the weights behind your shoulders. I often see people do rear delts and pull the weight as far back as they can. You're actually not going to isolate the rear delt when you do that. When you do this exercise, you want to think about pulling your hands as far apart as you can from one another towards the opposite walls and maintaining that tension. When you perform 10 reps of these, you're going to switch your grip on the machine and you're going to perform another 10 reps. Again, the same concept applies. You're going to think about pulling the handles as far apart as you can towards the opposite walls. And I promise you're going to feel a difference. Slow and controlled. You're going to perform three sets of 10 of each way on this, back to back with minimal rest. If you need to rest more, that is completely fine. Um, mamas, if you're concerned about your belly pushing up against the, the pad, you can sit back a little bit. Then to finish off our workout, we are going to do a shoulder stability and core exercise. Don't knock this exercise until you try it, you guys. It is so much harder than it appears, and finishing it on this workout was icing to the cake. The ball is going to be pushing against you, so you are resisting the ball by using your core to stabilize yourself. Your hands need to be directly underneath your shoulders to benefit from the tension that the ball is providing you. Again, make sure you are wrapping your transverse and activating your pelvic floor and your core during this entire exercise. So this is a great core exercise while being a great shoulder stability exercise. You want to do this for a minute total, three rounds, and that completes the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know how it went. <laughs>